Okay. Well, thank you for joining us on our Live Well at Home video series. I'm Dr. Sonia Fung, owner of Live Well Clinic here in La Quinta. And you can find me online at livewellclinic.org and on social at Live Well Clinic and at uh, dr.soniafung. So today we're going to speak about um, how movement is medicine and why it is um, absolutely vital, crucial uh, to your whole body health, um, especially um, as a cancer patient and even life after cancer. So I have asked my friend and colleague, uh, Shay Moraga, who is a certified yoga instructor um, and founder of Namaste with Shea and online yoga for understanding and healing and a breast cancer survivor and just so, so, so much more uh, to speak about this topic today because she has so much training in this and is um, super knowledgeable. So um, <clears throat> I also want to throw in a little plug there that uh, Shay is also the um, co-founder of Shay's Warriors, Life After Cancer, and a nonprofit um, support uh, group for, to help women um, thrive after cancer. Um, so, hi, Shay. Hi. That was a month. <laughs> I know, right? Well, you do so much. So, <laughs> so um, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Sure. I'm Shay Moraga. Um, as Sonia already has said, I'm Namaste with Shay. And um, something that really speaks to my heart, uh, which is Shay's Warriors, and that's um, life after cancer from going through breast cancer and, and uh, my own experiences. I noticed um, here in the Valley, we didn't, uh, a friend of mine, Eileen, um, we would sit down at lunch and we noticed there were some services that were missing for people women specifically in life after cancer. And so that's our, that's our little nonprofit that um, we have started at grassroots in, in our pandemic world today. <laughs> I'm a mom. I, um, we have, a, we have a six pets. Um, I love this valley. I've been in the valley um, since I was about eight months old, on and off. Um, so yeah, and I just, I love, I love yoga and I love um, giving back to my community. So. so how did you get into yoga? Oh my gosh. So I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota and a girlfriend and I were just kind of at one of the gyms, I think it was like lifetime gym or something. And we were always on the treadmill and it was just so hard to run and run, run all the time. And we were like, Oh, you know what? Like, look at that cool class going on. Like it's yoga. And I'm like, oh, yoga. You know, it's like for hippies or something, you know, it was kind of funny. And like my mom used to make me do yoga when I was a kid. And um, anyways, long story short, it was probably a month after that, that I found um, a small yoga studio near where I lived. And I jumped in um, with a gentleman who was just new to yoga himself, but he was a, he was a new certified new teacher. And I just, I don't know, it was something about how the movement and how the mind and the body and the connection just literally calmed me because I'm usually like, I go, go, go all the time. <laughs> and so it was like one hour of time where I could just literally like let go, not think about anything. And there was something about my breath, like focusing in on my breath all the time that just took me down like so much. It was just so soothing and loving and, and, and gentle with myself that I just, I started going to yoga. I think I went to yoga every day for 30 days. I followed him and um, that's, how it, that's how it got started. It was like 20 years ago almost. Wow, that's amazing. So I know it played a huge role in um, when you were going through cancer treatment and, and now after, uh, after you're out of cancer treatment and survivorship, um, like how, how did that help build you? How did that help sustain you? Um, because I, I know it was a big part of it. Yeah. Um, great question. Well, when they, when 
it, again, yoga is not only about movement, but it's about breath. And so if you could just put yourself in a place where someone is looking at you and they tell you those feared words, you have cancer. What happens with us is we literally tense up. Yes. And we go, <gasps> we hold our breath. It's at that mo moment that I lost my breath when they told me that I had cancer. And then a few weeks later, a colleague and a friend of mine called me up and said, how are you doing after she found out? And I said, not really well. And she said, come to the studio, get back on your mat. And it was when I just listened to what she was saying and I came back and, you know, the studio was awesome for me in regards to, I had to start practicing, I had to start moving, I had to start breathing again and releasing fears and anxiety and, and whatnot. So yeah, that's kind of how the, how it started. I, I stopped doing it for a very short period of time and then realized it's something I love and I could continue doing through this process. I just have to change my mindset on how I did it. And, and movement is just, it's so important um, during cancer treatment and also especially for cancer survivorship because there's so much data out there now um, that even as, as little as 22 minutes of aerobic exercise or, or even like strength training, uh, weight training exercises three times a week um, can reduce cancer risk occurrence and death from breast cancer by 50%. Wow. That's like, that's so huge, right? 50%. <laughs> um, yeah, right? So I think that, that we have to get that message out there that you just have to move, especially, um, especially cancer patients, especially cancer survivors um, uh, and, and breast cancer survivors. I mean, it, it also helps to reduce uh, risk for uh, colon cancer by 31%, prostate cancer by 61%. So these are huge numbers um, that, that can benefit so many different people. Right? Just movement. And, um, and, and yoga now, you know, nowadays we're, we're quarantined at home. So, uh, and we're doing a lot of stuff over, you know, over Zoom and over, over other uh, types of online platforms. Um, and I know that you do a uh, online yoga, uh, you and Miss Jay, your daughter, um, do an online yoga class um, for your community as well. Um, that, that is free of charge. And, um, and so, and that's just like beamed directly to your house. You don't even have to leave, right? So it's so easy right. nowadays to be able to do that. Um, what, uh, what brought you to um, creating this online class? Uh, a very similar to the cancer diagnosis. I, you know, I have a lot of people that come to my classes and they, they, um, they need that movement. They need that flow. And I teach, um, I teach primarily um, at Eisenhower's Lucy Curtsy Cancer Center to our cancer community. Um, and knowing that we were going to be shut in and knowing that maybe this is the only time that they have the chance to kind of breathe, really, really be told to how to breathe and move and have that collaboration of community, um, of survivors and warriors, um, I, I just couldn't stop. I didn't want to stop. So we, I just said, okay, we're going to continue it on Wednesdays. We'll do it on Zoom. And then people said, hey, would you do a few more classes? And the parallel of cancer and this pandemic is so similar that I was like, you know what? Yes, let's just do it every day until the world opens up again. And so that's, that's what Jalen and I did. We have some classes in the mornings, we have some classes at night, and then we have a really juicy serenity class on Sundays just to kind of relax and, and included in that is a meditation. I've been to a couple of the Sunday classes and they are amazing. <laughs> it's like, it just starts out your week well, you know? So. 
get you in a good mind frame and just kind of, it's not about being Zen or anything like that, but it's really about being clear and letting go and breathing in and focusing on what you need in your heart, your mind and your soul and pushing it out into the world, you know, because other people are going to need the same thing. Yes, absolutely. And I really appreciate that class. And I think it's an amazing thing that you both do. Um, so I have um, one more question before we close. And um, that would be, what are some practical tips that, that our viewers can do at home to help with um, the movement and improving their health? Great question. So a seated spinal twist is a really great one for digestion and nausea. Um, a lot of times if you're on treatment or whatever it might be, the di your digestive system can go out of whack. So some of these really simple and gentle poses really help with that nauseousness or that digestion. Um, something as simple as even legs up the wall, we call it. You just scoot up against the wall, put your legs straight up against the wall. Any wall works. You can also use a chair or a couch or anything. That helps with fatigue and stress. And you are under an, a lot of amount of stress or fatigue if you also are working through it, if you're you know, running the household or, or whatnot. And, and cancer itself is just a little stressful, right? Um, seated meditation is probably one of my favorites and you can do that even in, if you are getting treatment, like at the, um, chemotherapy or whatnot, you can do it right there and use your breath work for that. That helps with sleeping. It helps with anxiety. It helps with fears as well. You can do that any, any given time. Um, it also is really good for your heart and the blood flow, um, great for the lymphatic system. The more you are breathing, the more you get that oxygen in your blood and it's going, the better things are for you from a natural standpoint. So yeah. That's fantastic. I love those practical points. So thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, just to kind of wrap this up, um, I wanted to thank you again so much for um, talking about yoga and how it, how it has played such a crucial role in your life and, um, and uh, for um, being out there for the community and helping with um, your, the cancer warriors and the survivors uh, and, and like being that like shining beacon of hope, <laughs> I think for, for a lot of people. Um, especially in our cancer community here. So um, if, if um, people want to join your classes, um, it's called um, Online Yoga for Understanding and Healing. And you can find that on Facebook, is that correct? Correct, yeah. They can find it on my Namaste Lache Facebook page. Um, they can also find it on my website and under schedules. And again, that's just namastewithshay.com. And then you can also find uh, find you at uh, on Instagram too, right? So um, yeah. Instagram yeah, and Namaste with Shay, right? Instagram as well. And uh, Instagram for the community of our cancer survivors mm -hmm. is Shay's Warriors. And, or they can go to shayswarriors.org for that. So, and it has everything from music to blogs to your YouTube stuff and, um, and so much more. They can connect um, personally with other people as well. So thank you so much for joining today and it was great talking to you. And um, thank you to our audience for uh, joining in with another, um, another video from Live While At Home. If you uh, want more helpful videos like this and to keep up to date with what's going on with the clinic, um, you can sign up for uh, my email list. Um, you can text uh, Live Well Clinic to 22828 um, for the email updates and clinic specials. And if you haven't already, um, make sure to click the subscribe button um, at the uh, corner of the page. So thank you again for watching and have a great rest of the week. Thank you. Thank have you. a great week.